Hello YouTubers! So, today let's talk about the Concavert since uh, that uh, model is popping up, apparently, or not but whatever since I never focused very well this uh, subject I'm going to focus it now and I found this gentleman talking about once you understand that gravity is really universal compression which, which is right I cannot say it's wrong and that universal compression requires a single zero point as its source point I also don't say it's wrong there can be no other option but concavert there is where you are completely wrong since the the ball hurt also works perfectly and even if it's hollow even better so universal compression radiates out from the central zero point yes and comes back again you don't f you keep forgetting that that's how it, it's how gravity it's created it's the return not the exit it's the return back that uh, creates the dielectric acceleration that we call gravity and I also believe that this be at least part of the cause of atmospheric pressure. Yes, the highs and lows are all according with fluctuations on the magnetic fields. As we can see in this diagram, this is how the magnetic fields work. They go out and come back again. And anybody with two magnets can do a simple experiment to understand how pressure works and if you have two magnets if you put them closer together you are going to feel more and more attraction which people call it attraction or repulsion which it's only acceleration but whatever but you can feel that you are going to be feeling more pressure or more repulsion ne near the core of the magnet not outside so if you look at the model this is uh, like a sliced of the concave heart which have the celestial sphere with the core here and the heart is here around so it will emanate its magnetic fields here and come back again here so the problem is that the pressure will be closer here and lesser here and we have an, an attraction to the center so if you are standing on this edge we will be floating and driving through this the core of the celestial sphere so this magnetically cannot work ever this has to be reversed you have to have the earth here at this center where everything emanates and comes back this is the only plausible way since space only works because it's cold and cold have uh, some magic properties to the elements up there that's another story but hope you guys understand that this is also a fallacy this doesn't work this would put us completely driving next to it flying to the celestial sphere it, we don't feel that we are like here and feeling that this attraction to the core of the center of the earth which I think is hollow but that's another story you could uh, just look uh, up uh, base uh, base number 211 called New Berlin and you will find uh, very interesting things out there so like I said this is the major problem of Kronkaker Earth it's the magnetic fields yes gravity is an uh, universal compression of the dielectric fields which can be tested to be stronger near the core of any magnet and not far away you don't feel so so many strength out when you pull it away as you come closer you can going to feel more attraction or repulsion according to the so-called poles 
and uh, it can be uh, this model as a core that supposedly is emanating those magnetic fields, those dielectric fields to create the concavert that's impossible, we would be flying to the core we have the ground, the earth, to not let us go in to the core so this is very important to avoid these simple mistakes that can make you believe in something that doesn't work magnetically you can try it with magnets it's not that hard so don't be con caved peace